those of you that were with us last week, and it doesn't matter if you weren't, you're still going to really enjoy. Just this beautiful concept. My husband started scuba diving. And he just sees this incredible parallel about how God sees many of us as Christians that kind of we just, many of us want to walk with God, but we're kind of afraid to go into arenas that we're not comfortable with. A lot of people would never be caught in the ocean, or they don't want to be in fresh water. They'll be in a lake, but not an ocean. And then there's those that will swim in an ocean, but they'll only stay in the top. They wouldn't go underneath, or they don't want to go where it's deep. And I feel, and Enrique has really felt like the Lord was talking to him about how God has made us so that we can go into the arena of not being in our comfort zone, like being in the ocean underwater where you shouldn't normally be able to breathe, but be at peace. Mm -hmm. And so today, last week, we talked about breathing underwater, right? Using our air tanks as necessary for mm -hmm. spiritual breathing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think today we're going to be talking about God is inviting us to go deep with him. Mm -hmm. God is inviting us to go into a an environment that might not be as comfortable as you would have liked at first, but if you dive in, you're going to see creation and God's beauty and experience his love in a way that you never thought you would. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be so worth it. Like Enrique was afraid to do it. He went under the water and then to see the sea urchins and to see that he could be with the fish and stuff like that. The same with myself. Like I was afraid of the ocean and I just kept pushing myself because I love it too. And whenever I get to be in the ocean, I just, I feel so close to the Lord. That, that's just me. But anyway... Mm -hmm. So tell us about these tanks. You know, so um, like we spoke about last week, you know, we were talking about, you know, God um, giving us like spiritual tanks, you know, so that way we can go deep with God. We can go into those places and kind of like diving, we can breathe underwater. And I talked about, we talked about Jesus breathing on us, you know, on his disciples mm -hmm. so that they would be, uh, they would be born again of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And, um, and God, he, he breathed in us uh, in man to make man, right? So we're going to talk about other pieces of equipment. I, I brought a couple of pieces. Us, right? That's right. And so all of these are tied to your air supply. Um, we can't just, you know, open up the bottle of the tank and then breathe in because it doesn't work that way. Um, you know, this, the air tank is compressed air. And we would not be able to breathe it um, be in because of the force of the air would expand, overexpand our lungs. And it would cause major damage. So what is needed is a way to reduce I, the air. Wait, I'm getting it. So like the Holy Spirit is kind of like a regulator. Is the regulator. Without the Holy Spirit, we don't understand the things of God. That's it's right. too, too profound it's too for us. But yet when the Holy Spirit illuminates it to us, it's sweet. And, and it's, it's, a little time. it's just what we need. And it's exactly. however much we want to delve in. Ooh, That's this right. is good. That's right. You, you know, know, Holy Spirit lovers, this is good. Yeah. And so in Ephesians 1.18, it says, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened. That's what, that was Paul. He was praying. And he says, so that you will know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of, his, of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. And then he goes on, he says, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us who believe? Those, these are in accordance with the working of the strength of his might. And so he used a lot of power words, right? Power, strength, might, working. Um, that surpassing greatness mm -hmm. is, is speaking of a power that's transcendent. It's immeasurable. You, there's mm -hmm. of such magnitude right. that is way beyond anything we could ever imagine, right? And so one of the coolest things that when I was studying this, that there's four Greek words to describe this power. One of them is dunamis, yeah, the Greek, energia, ischus, and kratos. And dunamis is speaking about effective, productive energy, like built-in power. It, uh, it's a word used yeah, for dynamic, dynamic. Yeah, that or, or dynamic, mm -hmm. right? right? And so that's the power of that, uh, the power of the spirit. Kind we talked like about life, that. Right, and then like dynamic, right? <laughs> and then there's another word that he used. It was called energia. And it, this is an energizing force of the spirit that empowers the believers oh, to yeah. live for the Lord. Right. So he gives us the energy, right. that power, and the, the hunger, capability, and the desire, exactly, and love. to be it. able to uh, live for God. Mm -hmm. And then the third word is kratos. And that word kratos is speaking about a, a dominion. Taking so, authority, understanding what we have in Christ, our identity, our purpose, mm -hmm. our protection. I love it. Amen. And the fourth one is it. Yes. Ikus, ikus, ikus. I think. And it speaks of a granted power or ability. In other words, God gave us this power. So we can touch and lay hands on the sick. And mm -hmm. we can pray for people and watch how God answers our prayers. That's beautiful. And, and we acknowledge that this power is from God. 
That's why we, when we pray for people, we lay hands on them, we say in, in Jesus' name. What we're saying by that is we're saying, this authority and power to be able to heal someone is not mine, but it's yours. Mm -hmm. And it's just in your name. I'm representing who you are right. and your power and authority. Right. And I'm just doing this out of obedience of what mm -hmm. you called me to do. And so, so it's just a very cool words that I started looking at. So that's what's inside you, right? Mm -hmm. It's inside each one of us. But there's so much of that. It overwhelms us. That we need the regulator. We need someone. Right. The Holy Spirit gives it to us just when we need it. Exactly. And He can open it up just as we need it. Yeah. And it, He gives us more if we go into arenas where we need it. Absolutely. Right? It's and always So that's kind of like adjusting. if you're going to dive, okay, now we're going to learn how to breathe different. Mm -hmm. And it's the same for those of us that want to delve into just the places God is calling us to. Mm -hmm. We really need the Holy Spirit. We need to know, understand how everything we need, we've already been given, right? It says we're seated in heavenly places. You've been given full authority in Ephesians, it says. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You've been given every spiritual blessing. That's right. And so that's so cool for us to understand. Okay, so, since we have this incredible power, how do we utilize it though? Yeah. How do we how do we give us some examples? Well the answer is that the Spirit of God regulates the power mm -hmm. of God within us. That's you know? good. Uh, in Corinthians twelve it says, But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. Word of wisdom, word of mm -hmm. knowledge, faith, gifts of healings, working of miracles, prophecy, discerning of spirits, tongues, interpretation of tongues, all of that mm -hmm. in verse 11 says, but one and the same spirit works all of these things, distributing to each one individually as, as he wills. Will. Nice. So that's what he's doing. He's regulating mm -hmm. the, the movement and the power of God mm -hmm. within us. And he's distributing it to the different places mm -hmm. according to his will, whatever like he it. sees. Mm -hmm. So he distributes and, and regulates the power of God within us so that we can spiritually breathe underwater as mm -hmm. we live out our lives, like among others. others yeah, right? like um, in the scuba world, uh, they have something that reduces the air pressure uh, in the tank so that we can breathe underwater without difficulty. It is called a regulator, this right here. And um, I, I asked a, a friend of mine, Chris, to, um, to bring me one. I wanted to be able to use it for this. Um, and, and it's very, it's a very interesting it's thing. It's scary like, just looking at it. <laughs> and so this right here, this part, this is the first stage regulator. What this does is it connects to the, the tank. And what it does is it reduces the, the power that's, or the air uh, pressure mm -hmm. that's in the tank. And it reduces it into this little chamber right here, right? And so it lowers it immediately. Right. But it's still too high, right? It's still a little bit high, but it's better than what's inside the tank. So now it's still too high. Then it goes down these hoses. And then it goes to the secondary. This is the secondary regulator, right? So the first stage regulator we just looked at, and now we're looking at the second, uh, you know, and, and so here we see that you, when you inhale through your mouthpiece, right, this mouthpiece, the air is drawn through this, another pressure And that's where it makes it perfect. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so here's the coolest thing about this though. There's these little sensors right here that, um, that measure how much pressure is around this mm. so if you're just um, diving at 20 feet it's going to know at 20 feet i need to give How this much air, air. Mm -hmm. because you want to be able to breathe the same at 20 feet as you do at 100 feet right, right. but you but your body is going to need more air at different levels right mm -hmm. so this thing will let you know well so that way you breathe the same at 20 as you do at 100 it's breathing for you. It's helping you actually breathe so that you need so we get exactly what, we what need. you need. Exactly. Yeah, and that's, and that's what the Spirit does. That's the Holy Spirit. Does. Yeah. And so that's, that's an over. I like that. Yeah. So I, I wanted you to see this and understand because there's so much to this right here mm -hmm. that uh, will help us. And so, you know, the, the only thing we have to do is to make sure that we're properly that connected. That we're connected. That we're abiding. Exactly. That we have access to the Lord. That we have the Holy Spirit in our life. I love that yeah. verse. It says, test and see. Examine your heart. Are mm -hmm. you in the faith? Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to know that once you're plugged in, you have access to all of this stuff. That's right. You don't have to go to the store. You don't have to pay extra money. Diving can be expensive for some people, but this kind of diving is not expensive. Absolutely. It, you have the riches. Your father owns cattle on a thousand hills. You have what it takes. So I like, I, I think it's kind of cool because there's some other things that go with the regulator and Ricky was telling me. Yeah. Yeah. They're really interesting because when we walk, the Holy Spirit is given to us, mm -hmm. but it's also given to us for the betterment of our families, for our mm -hmm. marriages, mm -hmm. for those of us that are married, for the communities in which we live. Right. So it's like the Holy Spirit always lifts up the name of Jesus, That's always right. draws people to the Lord, 
always expresses the heart of God. That's right. So, you know, Galatians 6, 5, it says, For each one of us shall bear his own load, right? So we each need our own measure. That's right. So we have to take responsibility um, for ourselves when we're bringing it down a little. Sure. And um, anyway, in our, in our walk with God. That's so. right. You know, because one of the things we have to do is, all we have to do is make sure that this is connected, that our relationship with the Spirit is connected. We're connected <laughs> to the source, obviously, with God. Um, and all we have to do is breathe. That's it. This thing does everything else for you. Just breathe, right? Just go where you need to go right. and breathe, right? That's good. And so that, but that's that's your load. That's what your responsibility is. And so, um, and that word load uh, speaks a, a cargo, a, sh a ship's cargo, or a, a backpack that a soldier would carry. And basically, speaking of the daily burdens that we carry, mm -hmm. so we're all res we're just responsible for our own stuff right. that God has placed in right. front and of us. Right, and then there's times when you know that there are burdens to the seasons of life that we're in. Loved ones are ill. We're taking care of our parents. Right. Children are going through things. So, but again, the Holy Spirit is so sensitive to what we need. Absolutely. So as long as we stay connected and abiding, I think it's really important. We, you know, like in times of crisis when we scuba dive. Right. Um, sometimes the regulator won't work, right? Right. And it's a very dicey situation for the diver. But um, today we have options now. So how do That's we right. perfect that from when the regulator so, doesn't work? So like, let's say, let's say um, you're diving with someone. You always go with a buddy, of course. And you're diving with someone. And uh, something happens to their system. Um, let's say they run out of air. Maybe they were breathing too too much and too fast, and they went through a lot of air, and all of a sudden they realize, "Whoa, I'm running out of air." So then, what happens is, um, if you notice, there's two two of these mouthpieces. One of them is your main mouthpiece that you use, and then this one is an extra one that actually hangs to your side. And so then your your diving buddy would come up to you. And then point oh, so to when it. So you, when you panic, you go to your buddy, and then they give you what it's called yeah. an octopus, right? Yeah, and then it's you called put octopus. that one in, and then. Hmm. So now they're able to breathe. So let, let's say their system is out; they're out of air. Um, they can come to you, and you can give them this one. You're still breathing out of yours, but they're now breathing out of your tank. They're using your tank, your air. But now you can both go safely back up to the surface, mm -hmm. right? Right. And so, you've got a problem, so you need to come up. That's why it's so important to be up there. It's an alternative air source, right, for for your friend. Um, and so it, it has a longer hose, and usually this hose would be uh, yellow. I like that. Uh, in this case, you um, need the brightness. this is yellow, so you can see it, right? And um, it's, it's the backup to the primary, to that person's primary regulator, right? And so it's it's to be used in case of an emergency. And, and that's what we do for each other. When we are walking with God, sure, sure. you know, what happens is there are times that we may have to do this for someone. Mm -hmm. We may have to breathe, you know, help right, them right. breathe mm -hmm. because they find themselves inundated with and they're overwhelmed right, and right. they don't know and they're panicking or whatever. Then you just hand your hose to them and say, hey, there you go. Breathe. You're breathing. They're seeing that you're, that tube is right. connected to the same source right. and then they can breathe and they can be calmer and get themselves where they need to go. Um, so it is for others. That's what the regulator does. Which reminds us of Galatians 6 2. It says, Bear one another's burdens. Mm, and then that way carry out the law of Christ. So we do that for each other. And that word burden uh, is speaking of something that's overwhelming, something that is mm. beyond their capacity to be able to handle. And so that's why we need to be together, be with each other, so that we can help each other. Because sometimes someone takes on a right. whole they need to thing. share, they need to get as close as using your regulator. That's right. And knowing that it's draining you of your resource. That's right. Or you're, you're kind of, yeah, that's really good. That's a good word picture. You mm -hmm. know? So raw regulators are designed to make emergency situations less severe for that's others right. and ourselves, you know, and our diving partners. That's you right. know, I think of 1 Corinthians 12, 25, 26. The way God descended our, designed our bodies is a model for understanding our lives together as a church. Every part dependent on every other part. The parts we mention, the parts we don't. The parts we see and the parts we don't. If one part hurts, every other part is involved in the hurt and in the healing. That's in the message. In the message. In the yeah. Hear and so, so it's like, you know, if one part hurts, the other part is involved mm -hmm. in the hurt. The other, part, right. the other part hurts too. So again, here, here's, what, here's the example right here. So one part is breathing. The other part is saying, oh man, I, I'm not in a good place right now. And they can come to you, right? So we need to be together. Um, there's, a, there's an interesting thing. Here's a, this bottle is not the real bottle, but... I'm going to call this an alternative air supply. Um, and there's this uh, company that makes something about this size. It's called Spare Air. And what it basically does is it has a mouthpiece up here. 
and you have it in your pocket. I mean, you have it here on your belt line. And if you happen to run out of air, something happens, maybe you spent too much time down there, you weren't careful, whatever, and now you need, hey, I'm at 20, 25 feet, you know, in the water. Uh, it's going to take me at least 30 seconds or a minute to get up there. I need to go as slow as possible and still be able to have some air. At 20 to 25 feet, something about this size might work. Um, actually, it's a little bigger, um, and, and it holds. Uh, it makes me think of the feet. versions that went, did, who didn't have oil for their lamp. And the oil was symbolizing the, the Holy Spirit. It's mm -hmm. like you need to have your tanks full. Cool. You need to have those alternates where you can grab when the going gets tough. That's and right. so that's why time you spend in the Lord's presence and trusting and listening and waiting mm -hmm. on Him in prayer, mm -hmm. reading His Word, fellowship with other believers. Those are all ways to keep your tanks full, Absolutely. especially that spare tank. Because you never know when something really bad goes on. You really got to dig deep to get through hard times, mm -hmm. especially in times of tragedy or times when you don't quite understand what God is doing. Mm -hmm. So just um, all of these are really good typology, real word mm -hmm. pictures mm -hmm. or real a visual things for you to, to understand. That's right. You know, um, there's a larger tank in this. They call them pony uh, bottle system. And those hold like 20 um, cubic feet. And those are used like, if you go down to like 100 feet and it's going to take you a few minutes to get up. Uh, to mm -hmm. the surface, you're gonna need more air. Obviously, this will not handle the amount. Uh, nine, nine will not have. Three will not. Um, Twenty will. And so, and so, there are two reasons why scuba divers invest in another air supply. The first one is it's an emergency. Mm -hmm. It's crucial to be able to continue to breathe underwater. Sure. It'll provide. Sure. It'll continue to provide air. Sometimes the situation will present itself that it would be of great benefit to have an extra tank. Uh, this allows you to safely return to the surface. Mm -hmm. uh, at Romans eight twenty eight. Sometimes things happen, right? And it says, mm -hmm. we know that all God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called mm -hmm. according to his purpose for them. So what God does is, he, in a sense, he, he kind of gives us what we need, that little bit that we need so we can get back up to the surface, so that we, we can get back and, and get ourselves out of a dangerous situation. And he'll work it out, you know. Yeah. But it's during those times is when we stress out. It's during mm -hmm. those times that... And so, so that's why it's important to have the extra, right? And so and, and another thing, another reason that people carry... Uh, pony tanks is uh, they want to go down to a longer dive. Um, I almost feel like people when they go on the mission field, or people when they're leaving, kind of like what they know. It's like I'm delving into some unknown chartered waters. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like he said with the longer right. dive. You know, they're going to add this pony bottle to their gear so that it'll extend the time they're underwater. This right. is added air capacity is needed, right? Right. This reminds me, oh yeah, the prophet Elijah, right. who was being mentored by um, Elijah. Elisha was mentioned by Elijah, right? and he asked for more of the Spirit. Yeah, That's he right. knew. That's right. In Second Corinthians, it says, when they came to the other side, Elijah and Elisha were together. Elijah said to uh, Elisha, tell me what I can do for you before I'm taken away. And mm -hmm. Elisha says this, please let me inherit a double share mm -hmm. of your Spirit and become so your success. Right? So he was asking for a double portion. He was looking for, yeah, for another tank, huh? That's right. He was asking for a second another. tank, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so, and then the last thing, is that there's this uh, pressure gauge. Um, these tell you how deep you are. Mm -hmm. uh, it tells you how much air you have left. This one right here will tell you uh, how much air you have left. So mm -hmm. your gear will actually tell you. And so all of this stuff, all of these things are so important to help mm -hmm. you to understand where you are at that moment. And which reminds me of Galatians 6.4. Mm -hmm. It says, but let each one examine his own work. And then he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not mm -hmm. in the other. Um, and so basically it's like, just be responsible for your, your gear, mm -hmm. be responsible for the things he's giving you everything you need. He's giving mm -hmm. you the regulator because of the spirit. He's giving you the capacity to help other people. Uh, he's giving you everything that you need. He's giving you, he even give you an extra, mm -hmm. you know, as you pray for more of, of his spirit, you know, and he gives you another tank so that maybe you can go longer, um, inside, you know, that sort of thing. Um, it, those are all parts of what we need so that we can continue to dive So basically, the, the moral of the story, right, is let the Spirit of God regulate your spiritual life. As you go deeper, God is calling you to go deeper. Amen. Don't live a superficial life. Amen. Knowing God is to bring great beauty and great intimacy, not only with Him, but with those He's put in your life. Mm -hmm. You are open, you are ready to experience so this is just a great, just a great call again, because God is always calling. 
You know, it says, deep cries out, the deep cries out. That's a song I used mm -hmm. to love. It's from Psalms because it's true. But anyway, thanks for being with us tonight. It was great to uh, share with you, and we're, we look forward to next time we can be together. Amen. God bless you guys, and remember, dive deep. Amen? I love it. Speak the name of all Jesus over you.